Hello, I am Dr. Sriram Ramalingam, Medical Director and Chairman, Pradhyā Netralaya, Artinagar, Bangalore, specialized in cataract, glaucoma and squint. What is glaucoma? Glaucoma, by definition, is a progressive optic nerve damage which has got multifactorial causes of which the raised intraocular pressure is only a treatable factor. It may all sound jargon to everybody, but let me explain to you what is the optic nerve. Optic nerve is a nerve that carries the impulses from the eye to the brain. I always tell my patients, eye is basically a receiving station and the brain is the main processor. And these two are connected by a nerve which is called as an optic nerve. So, as I said, Glaucoma is a progressive optic nerve damage. The damage occurs to the optic nerves because of various causes of which one of the cause is a raised intraocular pressure. So, a glaucoma is a condition where the eye pressure is raised. You have got an optic nerve damage and associated changes. Now, what is the normal pressure in the eye? A normal pressure in the eye varies from person to person from time to time in the whole day. Usually, any pressure less than 20 in the eye is considered to be normal. Any pressure more than 20 millimeters of mercury is considered looked at with suspicion. I don't see all persons with the pressure of more than 20 are having glaucoma. Any person over a pressure of 20 is looked up with suspicion. So, you have got a raised intraocular pressure. This raised pressure causes damage to the optic nerve which carries the impulses to the brain. Now, and this optic nerve damage is checked by using various tests. So, a glaucoma person has got a raised intraocular pressure, optic nerve damage and associated changes in the eye. Now, what are the associated changes in the eye is the first and foremost changes that occurs is what is called as a decreased peripheral field of vision. So this a person's side vision starts decreasing because the glaucoma affects the side vision without affecting the central vision. So glaucoma is called as a silent thief of sight. That is, it robs you of your peripheral vision without you being aware of it. So glaucoma does not have any symptoms. So a person does not know whether he has got glaucoma or not. It is diagnosed only by an eye doctor. When you go for an eye checkup, when an eye doctor or ophthalmologist does a complete evaluation of the eye, which includes to check the intraocular pressure of the eye, he checks for the optic nerve, whether it is normal or it is abnormal. And if required, he does certain tests like a visual field testing or an optical coherence tomography to look for any damage to the eye. So, glaucoma does not have any symptoms. It is a silent thief of sight. Who are at risk for developing glaucoma? Persons with a family history of glaucoma, anybody over the age of 40 years can be at risk of glaucoma. Especially patients wearing high myopic glasses or short side glasses or high hypermetropic glasses. Persons with a history of injury to the eye. Persons with a long-term use of steroids for various reasons or even maybe eye drops in the form of steroids or persons with diabetes are more at risk of glaucoma. So everybody after the age of 40 years should have one evaluation by an eye doctor, not by an optician where they only check the glasses. And this eye checkup should include a complete eye checkup which includes intraocular pressure measurement, the dilated fundus examination or retinal examination, look at the optic nerve and if required, the other test to rule out if the person has got glaucoma. So glaucoma is a silent thief of sight which can rob you of the vision without you being aware of it. So one should have a routine eye checkup to rule out glaucoma.